as we got invested into the space, we started pulling more data. I mean, my favorite was what I called the NASCAR loop. The data showed that if you picked up at the bottom of Broadway, high probability you were gonna drop off somewhere north on Broadway. I was gonna make the left turn. Because the data also showed if you picked up at the top of Broadway, you were gonna drop off somewhere midtown around the bottom of Broadway. So we just run that NASCAR loop. Left-hand turns only. Turns out to be a super profitable circuit. And there's lots of pockets of opportunity around New York. The fleets did a terrible job of telling their drivers when there was a Knicks game. Terrible job of telling when concerts were going to be. All at MSG, obviously. And, uh, you know, I know you're a Knicks fan. Uh, you've come out of... Out yeah, of we're MSG. the damn cabs. Yeah. And where the hell are the cabs? <laughs> yeah. Don't they know there's a game letting out? The, the answer is they didn't know there was a game letting out. Crazy. Most of the drivers are not native New Yorkers. Our uh, drivers are... Soccer fans, football fans, uh, they don't pay a lot of attention uh, to the sports that drive Americans or New Yorkers. So there's just like a cultural divide. They don't know all the time where to go. The best drivers figure it out over time and, de again, develop a system. Yeah. And they access it and they make a ton of money.